Now back to politics. An NTV senior political affairs reporter, Kennedy Moreithi, had a sit-down with Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula about Ford Kenya's future as a country heads into an election year and what the party position is on the political party's amendment bill. Here is that conversation. But there is this notion that even in trying to come out and show unity in front of the cameras, there is a lot of infighting even behind the scenes, including the meeting that you had yesterday at the SKM command center. Yes. I was there. Musalia was there. Uh, Jirongo was busy with something else in Westlands. He sent his apology. And we had a meeting that resulted into this morning's meeting. And you can see as an outcome of yesterday's meeting, you had a full house. So where is the disharmony? I don't see any. I'm asking this because there are... Yes. What is it you know that I don't know? <laughs> there is this thinking that there is a probability that uh, you and Musalia Mudavadi are being courted by Deputy President William Ruto and it is not a matter of if but when you will leave the One Kenya Alliance and join William Ruto. You know, politics is uh, an engagement of high speculation uh, very high density rumors and all manner of things. People say things without any iota of evidence, without any foundation. We also hear them. We read in the media that uh, Musari and I are deeply engaged. We read in the media that uh, Jirongo is already gone to Azimio. We read in the media that Gideon is uh, very. Uh, partial in, in, in dealing with us and is very close to Azimio. We read in the media all manner of things. You just asked uh, Steve Kalonzo there about his uh, alleged engagement with, uh, with Raila Odinga. The truth is these are statements being churned out with a hope that they will destabilize Oka. Can Moses Masika Wetangula work with William Ruto towards 2022? You know that answer cannot be a yes or a no. Of course, in politics, everybody's trying to catch up with somebody. Uh, I personally haven't uh, talked to William Root about what you're asking me about, but uh, I hear speculation through the media, uh, how they wish they would have me working with them, how uh, they wish they would have Kalonzo working with them. Everybody wants to grow bigger, and we as OK, we want to grow bigger by inviting Azmio to join us, if they will find it necessary, by inviting even, uh, uh, if the DP finds that the future of this country lies in Oka, and he joins in as uh, one of, of the members, we have no difficulty with so that. So basically what you're saying is that the only way this can work is whether they want to join you, not yes. you joining them. whether they want to join us, and in any such situation, there must be a negotiated and structured manner that takes into account the interests of all my colleagues that we are working with. None of us will move out of Oka to go and engage in uh, negotiations on your own. Then you cease being Oka. Has William Ruto reached out to you personally? No, he hasn't. Uh, I can't remember when I last spoke to William Ruto. It's probably a couple of months, and it was not on politics. So I can't... Uh, uh, tell you that he has reached out to me to say let's work together. He hasn't. But I've seen him make statements in public uh, when he has been uh, touring Western. I've seen him putting rhetorical questions to the crowd, asking them, do you want me? Of course he recognizes, and rightly so, that the gatekeepers of the Mlembe Nation is myself and Musalim Davadi. Do you believe that the current law being voted on and debated in parliament right now is something that will help in this coalition's formations moving forward. In the context within which it was envisaged, then it will in a very substantial way cure the levels of deceit that we've witnessed in CODE and NASA, which has given very valuable lessons to formation of future coalitions. That one, when you come together as parties to pursue a common political agenda and political interest, it should never be founded on personal relationships. It should never be founded on personal friendships. Of course, the personal chemistry between uh, the coalition partners is important, mm. but never be too trusting. 
until and unless that trust is buttressed by the letter and spirit of an existing law. You speak so passionately about this law and uh, probably you've even asked your members to support. But there's the other side to it where Deputy President William Ruto, even in trying to woo you to create a coalition with you, says that he is ready to form a coalition without a law, saying that he is not dishonest. Do you believe in such a statement? There is no human being who is inherently dishonest. <laughs> It is situations that make people dishonest. And one such bad situation that makes people dishonest is in the presence of money and in the presence of power, or both. That's when you see the true likeness of people. You can be very good friends when you are sharing nothing. And the greed in people is manifested when there's something to share. Power, money. We've seen it with ODM. When we were campaigning as COD, when we were campaigning as NASA, the clarion call and the reference to each other was, my brother, my brother, my brother. When the man arrived, we stopped being brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped being brothers. We became irritants. We became a nuisance. And that's what we must cure, you know? So that nobody rides on your back, and as soon as they cross the Rubicon, they think, you are useless. You can as well perish in the Rubicon. So we must bring sanity. We must bring sanity. And since Kenyans have demonstrated over and over that their word in the arena of politics means very little, there's more reason why we must police this with the law. Because the law is the shield for the weak. The law is uh, the fortress for the weak. And if you allow those who feel like they are uh, Goliaths in this political arena to tramp upon everybody, then we'll not have society. You can definitely expect more exclusive conversations with uh, leaders, prospective leaders as well, as we head closer to the August polls. And yes, politics will be the order of the day in the coming weeks and months. We take